Welcome back to my garage. Happy New Year. I've spent a few evenings playing with the CNC mill, trying to get it to cut right. You should never assume things, especially when it comes to old, used, customized machinery. Especially when it comes to that kind of stuff. I know you're eager to see the 3D printed cylinder printed and the engine up and running again. Building the world's most powerful two-stroke is my goal here, but I have other goals too. Fully fledged prototyping facility here in my garage. And I've got the mill now. And I need to learn to use it. That's uh, like if I don't do it now, it will just stand there and uh, like just rust away. I know. Just like with the lathe, I haven't really played enough with the lathe, and I plan to do that too. But we are going to machine the cylinder in the mill. I just have to feel that I'm confident and f confident in the machine and confident enough in myself. And I think that'll happen today. We're gonna start cutting one of these, one of the my tool holders for the vise in wood now. And I'll talk about what's been going on and what's been wrong and how I fixed it. And uh, yeah, let's go. Goals for this year, build the most powerful two-stroke ever. Get better at replying to mail. Being able to do this at least half time. So this garage thing. And uh, that's about it. My main challenge for reaching these goals are time, so I need more time here. That's where you can help me. Help me by watching my videos, sharing and subscribing and uh, you know, liking, commenting and also supporting me on Patreon. That helps a lot. Just like a few dollars a month and if enough people do that, then I can do this more. Maybe even full time. Some merch. T-shirts like these and other designs in the Teespring store. Link in the description. If you're a regular viewer, you might notice I'm wearing an overall now, which I've never done before here in the garage. And it's just because it's so cold here. And uh, so that's another goal. Insulate the roof properly, get some plywood up there and, uh, and do something about the gates here to keep the heat in. It is colder and I can't use the burner because it's so noisy.
Finally a success. There's no lost steps in the Z axis, which I've been struggling with before. Everything just turned out perfectly. The little imperfections here is because the stock was a little bit too narrow in one direction, or actually two directions, but it doesn't matter. And I ran the mill much faster than what I've done before. No lost steps. You can see on this part that uh, at that last scallop I had lost some steps in C and uh, it, uh, it dug deeper than what it was supposed to do. But uh, it did not happen here. And I've run a, a few parts yesterday too with the same settings and the same, um, same modifications that I've done to the mill. And um, yeah, it, it's working. Now I can't just assume this will work in metal. Two, it's looking really promising. Really promising, so promising that I, I probably will machine this cylinder very soon now. Very soon now, within this week, I think. Switch to the action cam, because I'm gonna bring you behind the mill, where all the electronics live. The insane mess of uh, electronic setup the guy who built this made. So here, here it is. You've seen it before, and um, it's not tidy at all. It's a, uh, it's a mess. And there's, uh, there's the computer, this thing, and the drivers, and the breakout boards for the two parallel ports. That's the motor driver, the spindle motor driver, which I fixed in the last video. And, uh, and there's some contactors and stuff here. So first of all, when I was uh, starting to troubleshoot the, the lost steps on the Z axis, I just went by the markings on this uh, fuse box here, and it says Z axis, which is axis in Norwegian. I traced that wire down to one of these drivers. I can't remember which one now, but it was the wrong one. Got suspicious when I saw that the, the settings here, the settings on that driver was pretty wrong for uh, for the size of motor that's, that's in there. Checked the pinout on these boards, found out that this is not correct. And the settings on the drivers for the axis was not correct. So I, I changed the settings for all the axes, except the A axis, which seems to be alright. But the X, the Z and the Y, uh, I uh, upped the current and I reduced the amount of um, micro steps to half steps. Five micron resolution is enough for me. It should give me a little bit more torque. But there's some weird stuff going on here and uh, there's probably more like like this. There's there's a power supply here for the drivers, the stepper drivers. But there's also a big bigger power supply behind it that's not hooked up to anything except power. So it's powered up but it's it's not hooked up to anything. So I'm not sure what that's uh, that's all about. And the wiring here is just completely, completely out of whack. In the software, I was able to increase the velocity and acceleration on both the X, Y, and Z axis. On the X and Y, from 1,000 millimeters per second to 2,500, and acceleration from 50 to 150 millimeters per second squared. The Z axis, I was able to increase it from 500 millimeters per second per minute to a thousand millimeters per minute and 75 millimeters uh, per second squared for the acceleration. I might be able to raise this even higher but uh, I'm not taking chances now as it's running well. So um, yeah. When I bought this I assumed the guy who built it had done things properly and knew what he was doing and I shouldn't assume things because uh, the wiring is a complete mess. The drivers were wired in wrong like I don't know what's happened there maybe he took it apart and like put it together wrongly and uh, the settings for the drivers for the motors were wrong too low amperage for the motors in there and they're not they're not getting hot now during a long run so uh, there's probably like I could even drive them harder get more torque and yeah so lesson learned again. I want to do a run in metal on the same test piece and see see if it turns out like like the wooden piece did. And uh, then we'll then I'll be more confident and I'll do the cylinder. Okay, happy new years. Thanks for watching.